Hi, welcome to Civil Engineering Academy. Today we're solving a problem from transportation. The parabolic vertical curve is shown below. The curve passes under a bridge at station 13 plus 00. The elevation of the bottom of the bridge is 560 feet. The minimum vertical clearance under the bridge is 16 foot 6 inches. The required length of the curve is most nearly and there's all the answers. So we're given this vertical curve. We have point BVC and the tangent jumps down to PVI and we've got a minus 5. Uh, this is a 5% slope down here grade and 6% uh, grade here up to point EVC. Here's our bridge and we were told it was at station 13 plus 00, zero and an ele bottom elevation here is at 560 feet and then we're also given the stationing at PVI and the elevation at PVI. So how are we going to solve this? First thing I would do if you're using your civil engineering reference manual is I would go to chapter 78 and there's a section on vertical curves through points and we are going to specifically be using equation 78.50 and equation 78.51 to solve this. So you can look that up if you're using the same addition that I have. But the first thing we need to do is solve for some elevations. For equation 78.50 we need to solve for this variable called s which is the square root of the elevation at e minus the elevation at point g divided by the elevation of point E minus the elevation of point F. So you're probably wondering where are those? So what we're going to do is right here at the bridge uh, we're going to call this point I'll change the color here. We got a point here we're going to have another point right here and if we were to extend this extend it with the dashed line here we would have another point here with another elevation and I'm going to label this as point E this comes right out of the civil engineering reference manual so I'm going to label this as point E we'll label this as point F and this is labeled as point G and what we need to do is find the elevations for those points and plug them in here so that we can solve for s. Alright, so the way we're going to do this is we know that this is a 5% slope and we need to find out how far we are going so we need to find a distance and I'll change the color here, we're going to find the distance between PVI and the center of this bridge and they're calling this distance D so what is that distance? Well we know that that bridge is station 1300 I just I'm gonna use feet instead of stations and if we subtract the 1165.40 what does that give us? Uh, that gives us 134.6 134.60 that equals D. That's the distance between PVI and the center of that bridge. So the next thing we can do is figure out how much we need to add to this elevation or subtract to it in order to get these other points. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this distance D 134.60 and multiply that by 5% and that gives me 6.73 feet and I'm going to do the same thing 134.60 times 6% and that gives me 8.08 .08 feet so what we're doing here is we're extending this 5% this grade here and we're trying to find the elevation here so we know it goes down 6.73 feet to get to point G so all we need to do is take for point G we need to take 521.46 and subtract 6.73 feet that'll give us point G 
So what does that give us? That gives me 514.73. And the same thing for point F. We take the 521.46 and this time we will add 8.08 .08 feet. And what does that give me? That gives me 529.54. So now we have the elevation at G, we have the elevation at F. How are we going to find the elevation at E? Well, we were told that the vertical clearance, uh, the minimum vertical clearance under the bridge is 16 foot 6 inches, so 16 and a half feet. So this curve, um, I mean, in order for the curve to right, reach that uh, proper length of the curve, it, we have to meet that requirement, 16 and a half feet. So all we have to do to find point E is take the elevation that we were given at the bottom of the bridge, which is 560, and subtract 16 and a half feet. And what does that give us? That gives me 543.5, 543.50. So now we have all those elevations. We can plug everything into this equation for S. So let's plug it all in. 543.5 minus point G is 514.73 divided by E, 543.5 minus point F, which is 529.54. And S, I get an S value of 1.436. 1.436. Of course, this is all. Well, all of this is square rooted, and you get an answer of 1.436. So now we have S. Now we need to use the other equation, 78.51, to find L. And I'll come down here. L is equal to 2 times D times S plus 1 divided by s minus 1. So now we just need to plug all this in. So 2 times d, d was 134.6 times s plus 1 which is 2.436 divided by s minus 1 which is 0 0.436 and that gives me a length of 1504.1 so most nearly the answer is A.